Alright guys, this trek into DIY Tech is going to be a look at a component that I've been working on for a another project that I'm going to have on here and that one's going to be a series. Uh, it's actually going to be a an aquatic rover. Uh, and so uh, in looking for thrusters for this project, I found that most of them were either very expensive or not quite what I was looking for in terms of, you know, the, the quality and... Uh, sourcing and um, the thrust values that I had. So I just, I designed my own. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the testing now. Uh, these are completely 3D printed and they use brushless motors, uh, off the shelf, uh, run of the mill quadcopter brushless motors. So I'm gonna show you uh, the setup and then I'll, you know, show you what I did on the, in the CAD work. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you guys today is our thruster and it's down there I'll show you in greater detail uh, as soon as we do this all right guys you see the setup here I actually got our uh, oscilloscope running there and I'll try to uh, it's kind of hard to see with the with the glare we'll come back to that um, here we've got a 3S battery. We've got a uh, the RC tester or RC servo tester plugged in. Uh, we have the output also going to uh, that's what's going into the oscilloscope, so you'll be able to see what the uh, what the wave looks like if I can turn the oscilloscope so that the sun's not blotting it out. And then we have a 20 amp. Uh, we have our 20 amp ESC here. Um, that's a uh, one direction but it does have braking which is which is cool and then uh, the throttle the uh, thruster is right at the bottom there so uh, what I've done is I've uh, tried to put the pivot point uh, equidistant from the point that's going to be pushing on the scale and where the thruster is so that we don't have to do too much math to figure out what the thrust is we can read it off of here and whatever it reads on here that's what we've got so we're gonna set us up here for uh, pounds and it's zeroed out because it's already got the weight of that on there. So it's it's zero, we're gonna start the thrust. So what's down there, cause it's hard to see, I've got one out of the bucket. And so this is a thruster that, uh, uh, similar to the ones that you find all over eBay, but I, like I said, I, I just, got 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 a hold of some CAD and redesigned that to uh, fit my needs um, so the uh, the prop is uh, I just made this up so <laughs> I'll show you when I when we get into the CAD how I how I came about that that's like the second iteration of that um, there's the wave as you can see so we're gonna start this up and so now I have this off center. And you're like, why is that off center? Uh, I have a lot of electronic equipment back here. And so I figured if I could set this a bit off center, we'll get a swirling motion in here instead of the water going straight back up and over. Uh, we'll see if that works, right? So here we go. I'm going to start turning up our... Yes, see there, and we should start to, there you go, we've got some, we've got some, uh, some thrust going. All right, so that's just at the beginning of, the beginning of the setting. So I'm going to turn this up, you can see, so we're going up to one and a half pounds. And we're gonna just we're just gonna turn it up here. All right, we're gonna start getting some cavitation because we don't have enough water to keep it from sucking air into there. So that's pretty strong for a just something I came up with on the on the desk. Oh. We, we actually, uh, wow, 
All right, so what happened here is this pipe, I just have it pressure fit in there. I don't have any glue on there. So it actually pushed hard enough to, to twist that. All right, so I'm going to twist it back and then we'll, <laughs> I'll try to push the, the uh, fittings clo um, together a little tighter and then we'll run this again. I'm also going to add a little bit more water there to see if we can uh, get a little more, uh, get a little more um, headroom on the speed there. All right, got that straightened out. Got a little more water in there. This could bite me because uh, it's gonna spin the water out to the edges of the of the bucket, and we might be close to the edge. So I gotta keep an eye on that as I turn it up. All right, we're gonna tear this to get it to zero out. Okay, so we're at zero. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, famous last words here. All right, here we go. Slow, start it out slow. I've got it closer to the center. Let me move it over to the edge again so we can get that. All right, going up, going up, going up. All right, we are at. We've got four. Oh, that's it. All we can do is get get to that before. All right, we need a stronger, stronger setup. That ain't gonna do it. I may have to put some screws in in the uh, in the fittings to keep them from twisting. Uh, but wow, dude, that's that's pretty strong. Here, let me go get some screws. All right, guys, I've got the screws in there. Uh, I had to be careful not to go too deep because uh, if we went too deep, we'd actually start uh, affecting you know, how the shaft is, the square shaft that I have in there, uh, <laughs> affecting how everything moved, and we want this to move as freely as possible in order to, uh, you know, give us some good readings on there without being restricted. So we're going to here we go again we're gonna try this again hopefully this won't twist now with yeah it shouldn't twist well famous last words again all right here we go all right all right and move it over again a little bit okay that's about as close to the center of the scale as I can get. All right, so that's that's our minimum lowest setting. There is a quarter of a pound. I'm gonna start bringing it up again. One pound. Okay, we're not. Oh yeah, this thing is. It's gonna. It's gonna do is it's gonna lift the the. Uh, it's gonna lift the pail up off the ground. There we go. Let's see if we can pass what we did before. Whoa, the, the shaft is bowing. I'm gonna stand over here just in case. We're hitting four. This is where we started having issues before with the twisting. Uh, we're not at the top of the, oh yeah, we're running out of water again. Alright, we're not at the top of our ES, or the top of our wave yet. I'm going to try to take it all the way up to the top of the wave. See what we can get. Let's go. Six pounds. Pretty clear that we can go further more than that, but our test setup is not allowing for it. So we're hitting six. Uh, we go through the video. Video and see what we're hitting. That's our wave. We gotta. Yep, yep. 
All right, I'm gonna bring this back down. Bring this back down. Yeah, pretty satisfied with that. I think we're ready to put this into service. So, yeah, you're gonna see the, the rover. Um, probably, yeah, having six pounds of uh, thrust on each one of these thrusters, and you've got two thrusters, I think we'll be good. Yeah, successful test. Uh, all right, let's go to the cat. All right, guys. So check this out. This is the uh, this is the thruster you guys were just looking at. It did not have this uh, spacer. This spacer I designed to fit. Mm, let's look at it from this angle. Designed this to fit the PVC pipes that I use for framing everything. And you can see this is just a separate piece there. When I work on these designs, I usually uh, create the the off the shelf component here is the motor. So let's take a look at the motor. And I just model that ahead of time. And that way, when I create the assemblies, I can get the proper spacing and fit for all the other parts because this part I don't control the dimensions of this part so I use this as basically the core of what I'm designing so when you go back to the assembly here you can see uh, let me put this back together there you go and I use SolidWorks uh, I mean there's a million different uh, CAD program not probably not a million but there's a lot of CAD programs out there that you can use a lot of them are free for um, things like uh, DIY and hobby work, uh, but I just um, I have a license available, so I use SolidWorks, and this is what I used to use when um, when I had a full-time uh, day job as a technician. Anyway, um, I also created a so this is version two of the prop this is the original prop that was in there so this prop was not very efficient so I created a new prop that was bi-directional this one works very very efficiently in this uh, clockwise direction I needed a bi-directional prop so I actually went in and designed this And this one can spin in both directions and uh, be bi-directional. Even though we have a, uh, we don't have a bi-directional ESC at the moment. In the future, when we switch to a bi-directional ESC, we'll <laughs> we'll be ready for it. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is this. So, in creating the profile for this um, thruster body here, uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and go to that model. Uh, what I did was I created the profile of a wing. So let's let's go ahead and uh, normal pull that normal. And so in this plane, you can see you can almost see already where this is going. So I created the profile of a wing, and you can see here the blue line is very wing-like and I just rotated that around this axis and that gave us a three-dimensional structure that was a wing and so you can go online and get very uh, very very deep into the mathematics of all of this but in order to keep this uh, light and back to the subject uh, we're, we're not going to go uh, too deep into that. Let me know in the comments if you want to explore that deeper and I will show you the mathematics of creating all these curves. But the essentially uh, what we did is 
uh, we have a longer distance on the outside than we have on the inside and so uh, we're in a, in a sense we have a a a lifting going on the on the outside and that that's not exactly correct and i'm sure everybody's going to jump on the comments and 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 correct all of that but trying to make it as simple as possible that's what's going on here uh we've created a wing basically around the main prop and um we put a motor inside propeller on the back it sucks water through here and it causes laminar flow with all of this water and so that's what we've got going on here but anyway yeah all these designs um let me know in the, in the comments if you want the STL files available and I will put them on the website for you guys to be able to download those so basically yeah that's 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 the thruster assembly and this is what we're gonna be using in uh, many projects but the first one that we're gonna put out is going to be the the aquatic rover uh, which is going to be in the next uh, series of videos and the idea is to make this very accessible to schools trying to do you know conservation work and things of that nature automate some of that um, yeah all right now that you've seen the thruster and how that works I just wanted to give you a quick uh, sneak peek at what the thrusters are going to be pushing so uh, this is the first project and this is a uh, calling this one the aquatic rover there's gonna be videos on how all the wiring er everything is put together might even turn it into a kit but the idea is uh, there's an FPV camera here there's a uh, action camera there there's also gonna be a mount down here for this camera uh, so this camera will go here I've got the floaties off so that you can see how the thrusters are mounted so there's another there's a spacer there and just a couple of screws go through there and the cables for the thrusters go right through the pipes right up into this uh, housing here and this is uh, <laughs> just a, an upturned uh, food container, but it's uh, waterproof. So we're making sure all the fittings and everything are waterproof. But uh, yeah, that's just a quick uh, look at that. And uh, we're going to be using this to uh, to load up a an Arduino-based uh, data logger in there. So we're going to time some pictures. Uh, have the pictures timed with temperature measurements and so yeah we're gonna take some measurements of the water and uh, check the conditions of the water we've had some algae blooms uh, pop up so uh, hey we're gonna experiment with that see if we can do some monitoring um, we are also going to uh, set all this up on the on the website in case anybody's interested uh, for you know school school usage or what have you all right thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this one uh, like I said there will be more on these thrusters so uh, stay tuned uh, and subscribe hit the uh, notification bell and you know select uh, select all notifications and that way you'll get the videos as soon as they come out